So I literally just finished making a video about Disney and its Q4 reports and how much money uh, Disney has been losing lately. And the funny thing is, literally just off of making that video, out of seemingly nowhere, it was dropped just randomly online. There was no like proceeding before it. There was no talks about it happening. It literally just happened out of nowhere, but apparently uh, Shepek was replaced as CEO of Disney and he was replaced by none other than Bob Iger, which was literally the CEO before Bob Chappelle. It is so ironic and it is so funny to witness. But the thing is, this doesn't spell any kind of like, like good thing for Disney, in my opinion. Bob Iger is no better than Bob Chappelle in terms of his ideologies and what he thinks in terms of, you know, as a CEO and, and, and where he's going to eventually take Disney. Uh, he's just going to keep running the same thing as it's been happening since, you know, since we remember for the last couple of years. But it is interesting that they just seemingly removed Chappelle without any notice and just put Bob Iger back in there effective immediately. It was like the fastest, uh, I don't even know if you want to call it firing, but it was the fastest firing I've ever seen uh, that I could think of. And like I said, it just literally came out of nowhere. That's the most shocking thing about this because nobody was talking about this beforehand. There wasn't a single word mentioned about it. Nothing was brought up about it. And then all of a sudden, boom, Chappelle is out and Iger is in. It's kind of it, it's kind of weird. So let's get into the article, guys. But of course, before we do, just a quick mention, I am trying my best to hit 10,000 subscribers, guys. We just passed 9,800 subscribers, which is amazing, guys. We're almost there. We're at like 9,810 at the time of this recording. If you guys can help me out, I would greatly appreciate it. I know it's annoying to make an account, but I would really, really love to have you subscribe today if I have earned it so far. So it says the Walt Disney Company attempts to solve its problems by rehiring the architect of those problems. Bob Iger returns as CEO and Bob Chappelle is out. This article comes to us from Bounding Into Comics, guys. The links are in the description box below. It says the Walt Disney Company announced that former CEO Bob Iger was named CEO by the Disney Board of Directors after Bob Chappelle was seemingly fired from his position. In a press release, uh, the release added Iger, who spent more than four decades at the company, including 15 years as the CEO, has agreed to serve as Disney CEO for two years with a mandate from the board to set the strategic direction for renewed growth and to work closely with the board in developing a successor to the lead company at the completion of his term. Iger succeeds Bob Chapek, who has stepped down from his position. Now, a lot of people were trying to say that, oh, this has nothing to do with how bad Disney has been doing. It's just Bob Chapek wanting to step down. I'm like, really? You guys seriously believe that? This has everything to do with how bad Disney has been doing. And no matter how woke Disney wants to get, at the end of the day, they have to be able to produce money. And the Q4 report has proven to us and has shown the world that Disney is hemorrhaging money. The only thing that's keeping Disney up uh, afloat, according to those reports, is their parks. If it wasn't for their parks, their entertainment industry would be completely tanked. Nobody has been supporting their movies in mass like they used to. And their money, they're just hemorrhaging money at this point. All of their films are hemorrhaging money. Marvel's not doing nowhere near as good as it used to. It is not the cash cow that it used to be for multiple different reasons. It's not just for wokeness or anything like that. There, It's just burnout. You know what I mean? A lot of people have burnout from superhero films because there's a lot of companies trying to get into the mix. And when it comes to Marvel, they were the, basically the poster child for formulaic uh, superhero movies. And uh, those formulas are only going to last so long if you don't try to change change it up a little bit but the thing is they change it up in the completely wrong direction and that's where the wokeness comes into play but other than that i mean it is basically superhero burnout that people have so it says disney chairman of the board susan arnold stated we thank bob chapek for his service to disney over his long career including navigating the company through the unpre unprecedented challenges of the pandemic she continued the board has concluded that as disney embarks on an increasingly complex period of industry transformation bob Iger is uniquely situated to lead the company Company through this pivotal period. Iger has the deep respect of Disney's senior leadership team, most of whom he worked closely with until his departure as executive chairman 11 months ago, and he is greatly admired by Disney employees worldwide, all of which will allow for a seamless transition of leadership, Arnold added. So I, I really think that Disney must have been really desperate to bring back Iger. You know what I mean? I, and it also goes to show that they feel like they have nobody else who can lead Disney. 
They put they put everything into Bob Chappelle's hands for the last 11, 12 months, whatever it was. And he obviously failed miserably, no matter how much they want to, uh, you know, keep the PR team happy by putting out this little happy statement. At the end of the day, nobody was happy behind the scenes. Otherwise, there would be no replacement going on right now. And if they brought back Bob Iger, then that means that they really feel like they have nobody else who can take the, the helm at Disney. And he's basically going to be training his successor for the next XYZ amount of time that he's going to be CEO for Disney. So they brought him back out of desperation. And in the meantime, while he is leading Disney, he's also going to be training his own replacement because they don't plan to keep him around past his term. That's basically what it sounds like. So it says, Iger released his own statement saying, I am extremely optimistic for the future of this great company and thrilled to be asked by the board to return as its CEO. Disney and its uncomparable brands and franchises hold a special place in the hearts of so many people around the globe, most especially in the hearts of our employees, whose dedication to this company and its mission is an inspiration. I am deeply honored to be asked uh, to again lead this remarkable team with a clear mission focused on creative excellence to inspire generations through unrivaled bold storytelling, he added. I don't think he's going to change anything for the better, personally. I really don't think he's going to change anything for the better. Don't get your hopes up. Just because Bob Chappelle is out. And I get it. Trust me. A lot of people hated Bob Chappelle, especially after the whole Florida bill um, debacle. A lot of people hated him, how he just immediately folded and became this like fake ally for the LGBTQ cause, because uh, that's really what it was. He was a complete fake ally. But don't get excited over Bob Iger taking over, because I really don't think this is going to be anything good for Disney, at least not for the people who are fans of the Disney IPs, uh, whether original or new. I just don't see him doing anything good for the company uh, that's going to make people want to go back to supporting Disney again. Disney has done so much damage that I really just don't see how it's going to be possible, honestly. Like, Bob Iger could be great and everything, but I, I I think the damage is already done. I don't think there's any coming back from it. It says, This move comes shortly after the Walt Disney Company's poor fourth quarter earnings results. Yahoo Finance's Jared B uh, Bilk, uh, Bilker, Bilker commented on the company's report saying, Well, misses all around, at least on the top three key numbers here. He explained, So subscribers for Disney Plus, that's one of the big ones. That's where the focus is. 118 million. That's up 1.8% quarter over quarter. But it is short by about a million and a half of what Wall Street was expecting. That exact number is 1. Uh, 119 million. Adjusted EPS coming in light as well, 0.37 versus an estimate of 0.49, so off by about 12 cents right there. He continued, revenue also missing, 18.53 billion, that's up almost 9% quarter over quarter, but a little bit short of the Wall Street estimate of 18.78 billion. The Walt Disney Company has been committing seppuku over the last decade or so under the leadership of both Iger and Chapek. The company went out and purchased male-oriented brands in uh, Lucasfilm and Marvel and turned them into female-oriented brands, driving away customers both at the box office and in retail purchases. That is such a true statement right here. This statement right here is so, so true that Lucasfilm and Marvel are basically male-oriented and dominated brands. Now, that obviously doesn't mean that there's not female fans, okay? Before people go up in arms like, oh, what are you trying to say? Women can't enjoy Lucas, uh, Lucasfilm and, and Marvel, you misogynist? Like, no, you fucking idiots. But what I'm trying to tell you is that most of the people who watch that stuff are usually males, straight males. You can call it what it is, but that is the facts. And unfortunately for people, when you decide to want to alienate the majority, your product is going to suffer at the end of the day. No matter how much you want to pander, your product will suffer. And we've seen it time and time and time and time again, the product has suffered major. This says, on top of feminizing their male-oriented brands, the company has dived headlong into radical woke politics, with Bob Chappelle arguing in favor of the company grooming small children in uh, sexual orientation and gender ideology from kindergarten through third grade through their children programming. Maybe one of the biggest blunders was putting all their chips into the Disney Plus streaming service and cutting off licensed revenue to other streamers such as Netflix, who previously paid big dollars to get the Marvel Cinematic Universe and other Disney films television programming. They also led unethical and immoral political witch hunts against their own actors such as Gina Carano, who did not conform to the lies spread by the government and the media regarding the coup. So obviously there's so much that has gone on, like I said before early in the video, before we close it out, there's so much that has gone on regarding Disney, that even if Bob Iger comes in and wants to reverse so much of what Shepek did, at the end of the day, the damage is done. People are pissed off at Disney. They're fed up. They want nothing to do with it. And Disney will always have its hardcore fans, and they, those people will stick around no matter how abused they are, no matter how insulted they are. 
they will always stick around, and that's fine. They have every right to do so. But unfortunately for Disney, a big majority of people decided to walk away when they were told to walk away by Disney themselves. So I don't see this happening. Uh, I don't see anything good happening from this. And uh, Bob Iger, like I said, he he was already a CEO before. So what is he going to do better now that he didn't do before? I just don't see it coming. So anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of today's story. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.